Hello everyone, welcome back to Into Dream. My name is Liam. Got another review here for you today with another one of my friends. This is Cosmonauts. So I've talked about these guys a lot on the channel. I've known Dean, their drummer, for a while. He's an incredible musician all around, but we're mainly going to be looking at their band today and what they are all about. So if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. So this review might be a bit longer than my last two, those were sort of like quick promos for those bands. This one might be a bit more in-depth. And that's because I've been there since the start of the Cosmonauts. I've been to their first gigs and I think their most recent one as well, I think. It's hard to tell when the last one is with all this uh, Covid stuff going on. That's why the bands like this need your support at this time. So any of these bands that I've reviewed, please do go and check them out. It helps us all out. So yeah, I've been there since the very start. They were asked to play in their first gig before they had even formed as a band and before they had any original songs written. So their first set was at a Ruby Lounge in Manchester and they played mostly covers but they had a chance to write one original song um, which I still don't think they've released yet so I'm not going to give that one away just yet. The lineup was pretty much the same back then, uh, Dean's always been there um, as has the vocalist Rob and the bassist Callum. The main one that's changed is the guitarist. But this time they still had their first guitarist, who was someone from our class, uh, who's been in one of our college gigs, uh, and he was more of a pop-punk kind of guitarist, um, and that kind of influenced how that original song sounded, which is probably why they haven't released it yet, because they're still, still trying to tweak it. That was their first gig, and then, pff, what, a few weeks later, they did their first gig where they headlined it live at Band on the Wall. Now, Band on the Wall is one of the main venues in Manchester for small bands, so that was really incredible to be headlining for your second gig, and still only one original song. So they were very much a success in their early days on the indie scene, and then they continued that. I went to quite a few more gigs, and they kept adding more and more songs. And in the way that Enter the Dream is more focused on online presence, they are very much focused on their live performance. They're doing as many gigs as possible, whether that be at festivals, headlining or supporting. They're just at those gigs, getting themselves out there. That said, they still have an online presence as well, with their Instagram, of course Spotify, they have quite a few listeners on there, and their YouTube channel, they have some videos as well. So yeah, if you go to their YouTube channel, they've got um, just over 100 subscribers, and on their videos, you can see that they've got some that are more um, actual videos, some that are stills, kind of like um, our better acoustic one, uh, but then they got some album covers there, but the main thing they have are these kind of um, acoustic live session kind of things. They seem to be the most common kind of video, if you want to see the band anyway. So yeah, as I say, they've changed guitarists a few times, but that core trio of the bassist, drummer, and vocalist has stayed the same. And I've seen the bassist harmonise a bit, and I know Dean can sing a bit as well. And all that combined makes those acoustic sessions sound really good, as well as their live performances as well, of course. Now, I've said many a time to Dean, I'm not a huge fan of indie vocals, but I'll be honest, listening to this band, it's grown on me a bit. Maybe just this band, maybe not indie as a whole yet, not quite ready to take that step. But yeah, I it has grown on me, and I like a lot more of their songs now than I did when I first heard them. And what makes them unique is their genre. They're sort of indie alt, so they can kind of be whatever they want. They can lean a bit into the pop side, a bit into the rock side, or just into pure indie. And it's that lack of limitations, as well as the varied styles of the different members, that really give them a unique sound. Because as I say, they had a pop-punk guitarist. Dean is a metal drummer at heart. He is incredible on the drums. He has no right being an indie band. But because he is so good, that lifts the whole band up as well. But yeah, in my opinion, this is a true Manchester band, along with all the other bands we've looked at and artists, and I really think it is the place where music is made. So I think we're going to see a huge increase in the amount of musicians coming out of Manchester, especially after the whole Covid thing, because obviously everything's closed down at the moment, it's put, kind of put everything on hold. It's going to be a real test to see who rises up out of that, and I think that's going to make some real incredible music. And of all different genres, because I've looked at pop, I've looked at metal, and today we've looked at indie as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I try not to drag it on for too long because I want to direct you to their channel, which is going to be down in the description below. If you've got any other suggestions for tier lists or covers, be sure to leave those in the comments. And of course, if you want to check out our store or our Patreon, all your support is greatly appreciated. Even if it's just hopping over to the Twitter and following. That every little helps, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.